Um, there's only a set limit to what I can carry. And if I were playing on the easiest difficulty, I would be able to carry all the weapons. So basically, I'm just going to have to do with what I have. So, off we go. I cleared this entire sector out. And now, to 2C. I'm not gonna have a lot of ammo for this, but whatever. The M60, where you have to clear room as fast as possible. Okay, so that's the way out, alright, but I'm not gonna go up to level 3 just yet. I'm gonna investigate Sector 2C. See if there are around. Hi. Jesus. Okay, be right back, sorry folks. Alright, I left off where I was, and now, but now, that's where we burned to death. But now we turn instead turn to the left, and we're heading towards the conference room, which is busted, so we can't go in there. Continuing on, I guess we just head up the elevator. I also didn't pick up the M60. I think we'll be fine without it. Alright, let's go. The laboratory, okay. Oh, that's one of our guys. Man down. Oh shit, well he was one of our guys. Ready to sound the alarm. Is this open? Yes it does. Okay, so there's... My eyes actually hurt <laughs> from switching from... Uh, from switching the night vision to regular vision. Good god, actually. Oh, fuck you. Where'd you come from? But yeah, earlier that actually hurt my eyes. I think we're fine now. I don't think we need the night vision anymore. Okay, we can't go there.
Man, he just scooted right out of there fast. God. He's over here. They're ready to sound the bomb. Hi, buddy. Okay, elevator's out. All right, you hold down the fort. I'll look around. Okay, that's busted. Got a niche on my arm. God almighty! I guess I missed this area completely. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack and head in there. Okay, it's locked. So I just can't go forward. Spread out. That's what she said. Literally. Jesus. Hold it right there, Mom. Oh, hey. One move, and the good doctor dies. Wilson. So it was you all along. I should have known. Not one step closer. I dropped this vial, and we all die together. Listen to him, John. It's Romulus. He'll do it. Why did you do it, Wilson? <laughs> for the money, of course. Hey, what can I say? Peace is bad for business. When the Cold War ended, I can no longer play both sides of the political arena. It put a serious damper on my operations, and I couldn't allow that to happen. I could have. So you called up your old buddies in the KGB and decided to stir up some trouble of your own? Precisely. My comrades and I founded Prometheus to rekindle the old fires of war and hatred. For your damned interference, I'd be sitting on a beach with a drink, a nice tan, and more money than George Lucas. You're crazy. <laughs> Am I? I think not. Without the Cold War, both sides have grown old and fat. I was simply putting things back the way they were. For that, some might even call me a patriot. Or a complete psycho. Give it up, Wilson. There's nowhere left to run. Die! Get back, John! Run! <laughs> well, well, I'm the one behind glass. <laughs> well, bye, Sister Gore. Okay. Terminate Assistant Director Wilson with extreme prejudice. Will fucking do. Oh, also, uh, in case you haven't noticed, um, Assistant Director Wilson is, um, voiced by Mark Hamill, and <laughs> that's why the George Lucas qu quote, <laughs> that was made earlier. <sighs> okay. I guess I just head back to where I came from.
he blew himself up. <laughs> oh man, my buddy died. Oh well. At least I can access this now. Uh, come on. We're gonna go up to the roof and kick this guy's ass in. What? Oh, there we go. The 99th floor? Jesus! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Last mission ever. Okay. Okay, I'm going to set range. I'm going to minimize that. By a lot. I think we can still do it without the OICW, but I just want to be very, very sure. I'm going to put this down to like about 30. Like way down. Way, 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 way down. This isn't going to be easy. That's all I can say for certain. Alright. I'll keep it on 35. I think that will be about right. Okay. Alright. 35. Let's... Okay, I think that's good. Hey, hey, motherfucker. Oh, there he is. Fuck you going. Oh, yep, now it got his attention. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Actually, I think I can do this without the grenades. Let me just change that. I got hit from the side, otherwise it's not going to count. Oh boy, this is going to suck. And I fell off the building. Because <laughs> I wasn't watching where I was fucking going. Oh, we already got one. Okay, I think we can do this without the OICW, okay? Alright, that's one down. Ow. Okay. Save when you take out an engine. Okay. Save. And run for it! Oh god, those rockets! <laughs> okay. Alright, just stay down. Stay down. Ow. Alright. Turn around this side so I can aim for the other side. Not that sh The other way. Fuck. I need him to turn. Fuck. 
Yeah, this is gonna be really, really difficult. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't throw this away. Oh no, we we don't need rocket launchers, even though we had the original game. Yeah, this game has no rocket launchers, even though the first game had them. Damn it. Oh, oh, oh. I got... I got something exposed. Yes! Okay, save, save, save. I'm onto something here. <sighs> okay, now what? I took out both engines. It should go down. Unless I'm... Oh! <laughs> Wait. Is it gonna continue even though I died? Oh no, okay. Okay, I get it. So basically, okay. I got it. You take out both engines, and then once they're both on fire, then you shoot at the pilot. And then it blows up, killing him. Okay. Okay. I think I got it now. Now, where is he? Just need a good shot. Okay, I'm gonna set this on semi. Alright, get, get, get. Gotcha. Bye bye, Wilson. Go in peace, Captain Taylor. From this world to the next, ensure uncertain hope for the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord. We commend you to our sister, Madeline Taylor, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious unto her and give her peace. Amen. <laughs> Sir Sam. Me too, John. She died trying to save my life. I'll never forget it. Just so you know, Agent Taylor has been cleared of all charges. Our investigation showed she had no ties to Prometheus whatsoever. Wilson worked alone. He and Nishrod fronted Prometheus in a crazy bid for money and power. With Dr. Sestragor and the biopreparate research behind them, they would have succeeded if it weren't for you, old friend. Nicely done. With any luck, we won't have to worry about Prometheus or Romulus again. Initial sweep is clean. Tell POTUS to stand by. Someone else would like to thank you personally, John. Sir, I'm going to have to search you. What? 
Standard procedure, sir. I assume my fee has been transferred to my private account? Of course. As per the usual arrangement. Well, if it's all the same to you, I consider that thanks enough. Gentlemen, good day. Hey, come back here. You can't just walk away from him. Let him go, sir. And that's it, folks. That's it for S Soldier of Fortune 2. And and technically the Soldier of Fortune series as a whole, because payback doesn't count. And that also means the uh, pretty much the end of the uh, John Mullen series, of course. So, what do I think? It's good. Bit hard. But overall, I think I prefer the original game over this. In, t in terms of, you know, gameplay mechanics and, uh... I mean, the story is much better than, you know, the uh, first one, technically. But overall, it's, it's really good. And also... I'm not kidding. The uh, the voice actor for the bad guy in the original and the second game are the same person. <laughs> so overall, what to do next? I have no idea. I know I said that I would probably do No One Lists Forever, but... Uh, I don't know. I'll probably keep that, you know, as an idea. But, uh, I'm gonna have to figure something out. So, um... Yeah, awfully quiet. <laughs> I imagine I'll, f I'll find something in the meantime. I know that, um, that, uh, this month and the months following in particular are going to be very, uh, okay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay, well, the, ne the next sower months towards the end of the year are going to be very busy for me. I, me and my friends are hoping to do like a uh, Fallout 76 uh, uh, playthrough just for the hell of it. Kind of like, like what we did with uh, Borderlands 2 technically, but I don't know. We're still on the fence about, about a lot of things. I mean... I mean, some of the stuff looks good, but, eh, eh we don't know. Uh, my friend Shepard, I don't know if he did or not, but um, he said that he would, you know, uh, pre-order the game, and he would get the beta code, and so he would try out the beta, so, and the beta is not until, I think, next month, like a month before release. Or maybe it was this month. I, I don't remember. But um, but some but I think at some point he's going to give his you know verdict on it, and I guess we'll just see from there. So in the meantime, I'm I'm going to you know just uh, take a break and um, see if I can find something else to do in the meantime. So until then, I hope you enjoyed the game, or I, I mean, 
I mean, I hope you enjoyed watching me play the game. And the, the Soldier of Fortune games, you can barely find them anymore. And it's a shame that they're not on Steam. It, a lot of... A lot of good old classic games are not on Steam or on GOG, which is, which is a shame, including the Soldier of Fortune series. So anyway, I'm going to leave it off here, and until then, I will see you later.